Happy Wednesday. Hope everyone out there is having a great day today. I know I'm enjoying this nice, peaceful Wednesday. It's been a long couple of weeks for me here. I've been a little bit off social media, guys, so I really have missed a lot of things. So apologies if you haven't seen me and I haven't seen you. Just been taking a little break away from the whole social media type dealy. <laughs> Anyways, today is 420 Therapy Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Online class for now until we can move through this phase and get back into in-person classes. So hopefully, guys, you are staying strong, staying healthy, and staying positive during all of this. So getting started here for 420 Therapy. Today, I'm going to smoke a pure beauty joint. It's a sativa. It's uh, the Super Jack strain. And... I have had the Super Jack strain before, more the Jack Herrera strain before. It's in uh, more of the uh, kind of that lemonine uh, terpene uh, family, which I love. Lemonine is really great uh, for helping with depression, anxiety, and stress. So if you're ever feeling a lot of that going on in your life and you're also looking for something that is not going to be... Um, too um, relaxing and too chill. This is something, um, a sativa strain that I really enjoy. So it can be a nice head high, a little uplifting, and also a little bit calming at that same time. So again, that lemonine terpene for me is one of my personal favorites for that reason. So <sighs> yeah, and Pure Beauty is a brand that um, I really enjoy because their products are really good quality, premium flower. Um, good looking, good smelling, good tasting, and usually a pretty good high from my experience. So I'd love to hear your experience with Pure Beauty products as well. If you're interested in uh, giving me some feedback, please always feel free to comment below or you can always send me a message. Yeah, that's good. And smooth, nice. Yeah, quite enjoyable. Kind of digging this. I like it. I like pre rolls for the easy factor of you know just being able to pull it out and go and light up and move on forward. So that's always kind of a nice. Um, option if you're ever shopping in one of the cannabis shops in your area if it's legal hopefully it is um you know you can pop into the shop grab a quick little pre-roll and go i know pure beauty also makes some little um minis they call them uh, little babies i believe um a, little, a couple of other brands do make those small pre-rolls as well so if you're looking at this joint going i can't smoke a whole full gram joint to myself here that's okay don't worry you're not the only one and don't worry about smoking this whole joint either but um, if you do see those smaller ones, those are really nice options for you. So that way you don't have to feel like you're going to do a full investment uh, for either your practice or if you're just actually smoking in general. So anyways, just enjoying a nice smooth high. So I'm talking about the benefits of cannabis and why one might choose to use cannabis um, versus not. Um, first of all, you know, the medicinal benefits of, uh, you know, just the pure simplicity of allowing us to slow down, take a deeper breath, and relax. For me, cannabis has always been that helped to really take myself from that maybe high paceness and bring myself here. As well as yoga has really, truly helped me with that. For myself, I feel the monkey mind has always been go, go, go. And um, cannabis has definitely helped me. And yoga with meditation and breathing has helped me kind of make me go, okay, I need to slow it down. All of the stuff that I'm thinking about is important. Maybe some is a little bit more important than others. But right now, it's time to truly focus on the things that are the most important. And allow ourselves to be in that moment and appreciate it. Without having to feel stress or um, that we're not doing enough. A lot of that time, those feelings can subside and cause us aches and pains in our body and cause tension and tightness, which can also lead to physical ailments and disease. So thinking about backtracking all of those things and allowing ourselves to release through the body mentally and physically. truly 
appreciating you know cannabis for what it is it is you know an herb it is a medicine that you can use it of course you can use it for other things of course people abuse everything people abuse medicine pills so that they can get from the doctors just as much as they can abuse this beautiful plant that comes from the earth so thinking about it and how you use it and what your intention is for it. Maybe you suffer from uh, many years of having to use pain medication from injuries or from uh, uh, illnesses that maybe you've suffered from, maybe that you continue to suffer from. Maybe you're looking for different options. Um, maybe you suffer from insomnia and you need help with your sleep. Whatever it is that you feel maybe you're leaning or looking to cannabis to maybe help you uh, help maybe move away from some of those other types of medications and things you're doing that maybe you think aren't as healthy. Um, I truly encourage you to look a little deeper, dive deeper. And if you want to start a conversation, I'm always here and always interested in talking with people and helping give them tools or guide them maybe to someone else or something else that can help them uh, in what maybe they need. Because the most important thing is where you are on your journey, not where I am and not where anyone else around you is, but where you are in this moment in your life and what you need for your body. All right, enough said. <laughs> Take one more little hit here. And anyone else that's going to be joining us on the mats, whether you're joining us here on social media or joining us on Zoom, I encourage you guys to get settled, get a nice blanket or something soft maybe under your butt for the next couple of moments as we chill out and focus a little bit more on our breathing here. find a nice comfortable spot on our mats. If you have a blanket underneath you, make sure you can feel those sitting bones in a nice comfortable supportive position. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. Let's close the eyes. Inhale, expand through your nostrils. Feel the air in the back of your throat. Build into your lungs and as you exhale, release the jaw, release any tension in the mouth, the chin, and the cheeks. Start to notice where you are in your body. Do you feel any tension or tightness in your shoulders, your arms? Are you noticing that you're maybe leaning to one side or the other? Are you noticing that you feel maybe like you're floating a little bit more as you feel yourself expand mentally and physically? Letting that cannabis do its job. Breathe it in your veins, all the way out to your fingertips and your toes. Start to take note of where maybe your mind starts to go. Maybe you're listening to music, listening to your heartbeat. Maybe your mind is starting to wander off to all of the things that we think about our to-do list, the people, the places, the things. Allow yourself to have those bubbles of thoughts and see if you can let them float and escape and disappear. Notice your breathing. Are you breathing shallow? Are you breathing deeply? Letting go of all those external thoughts and concerns. It doesn't matter what you need to do with the rest of your day. What matters most is what you're doing right here, right now. Giving back to yourself so you can continue to do and to be. some time and truly settle into your practice and into your breath. 
Breathe deep. See if you can bring air deeper into your lungs by breathing in to the top, the middle, and the bottom. Expand with your belly, draw air deeper. Exhale, release. Take a few more breaths here together, allowing yourself to connect with that breath with each inhale and each exhale. Release your hands to the side of your body. Relax your arms, your shoulders. With your next inhale, reach your hands up towards the sky. Bring your palms together and release your hands down towards your heart center. Take a nice gentle bow forward. Create an intention for your practice today. So create an intention, maybe make it into a mantra. Maybe creating patience for yourself. Love, kindness. And turn that intention into the mantra, I am love, I am patient, I am kind. Inhale, fill that intention up throughout your entire body. And as you exhale, slowly release the hands away from the heart and down back to the knees. Inhale, reach your chin and your nose up towards the sky. Exhale, gently open your eyes slowly. Beautiful. Take one more inhale. And exhale, let's go ahead and take a nice gentle circle with the nose, the chin, and the neck. And bring it down towards the bottom and over to the side. Inhaling, coming up towards the sky. And exhale, take it down. Let's take one more here. And exhale, release it down. Go ahead and switch. So go ahead, exhale. And inhale, coming up. And exhale, coming down. Let's come back to center here and meet ourselves back in neutral position. Awesome. If you guys are tuning in and listening on Spotify, I do have my playlist available. If you're going to follow me at uh, Mountain Yogi, and the playlist is 420 Therapy Yoga. So pretty, hopefully, simple and easy. That's an empty your mind. Mm. Good form. Let's go to interlace our fingers. And push those palms away from ourselves, shoulders away from the ears. Comes the cup. If the water is not bottled, it becomes the bottle. If you want to get the cup in the steps, you want to inhale, reach up. And then exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, release your hands to the side. Seated spinal twist here. If you need to switch the way your legs are bent, go ahead and open them up. Actually, let's just take a straddle pose for a moment. Seated straddle. Reach your hands behind you. Push your heart and your upper body forward. Chin and gaze lead. If it's acceptable for you and available, bring your hands forward. Beautiful. Inhale, come back. And let's go ahead and cross our legs, switching the way that you had your legs crossed. All right. Release your left hand down towards the floor. Inhale, reach your hand up towards the sky and gently take a seated side stretch here. Keeping your upper body extended and allowing the side body to open up as you bring your gaze up. Mindfulness of the breath. Inhale, bring yourself back up. Exhale, float that right hand down. Supporting, inhale, left arm comes up. And exhale, reach it over towards your opposite side. Be kind to yourself. Maybe one side is feeling a little different from the other, and that's okay. All part of figuring out where we are right here, right now. Mm. 
Inhale. Exhale. Then come on up. Inhale, reach both hands up. And exhale, seated forward fold here as you reach the hands. And exhale, melt the upper body forward. Keep the breath moving, don't hold the breath. Mm, feeling good, feeling ready, feeling maybe just a little high. Letting that be a good part of our practice. Inhale, coming back up, and exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Nice job. Let's go ahead and come to our hands and our knees here. Moving your blanket off to the side. Or if you need a blanket for your practice to protect your knees, if you have sensitive knees, you can go ahead and open up maybe that blanket a little bit more. Hands can come right underneath those shoulders, push into your toes, inhale, go ahead and look forward. Let's take a couple of cat cows. Exhale, rounding through the spine, push into your hands, lifting up through the vertebrae. Inhale, coming back forward, bringing your gaze. Exhale, bring your gaze towards your belly button. Inhale, come forward. Have some fun with it. If you want to make some motion with your cat cows, maybe you've already done so many of these, you're quite bored with them, and hey, have some fun. So by that, I mean maybe putting a little bit of motion in with the arms, maybe coming all the way back and sliding forward and reaching up. Find what works for you here. Don't let yourself be limited to just one type of thing here. This is going to be a nice, fun flow class. I am a Hatha yoga instructor, but I do have experience in um, quite a very a variety <laughs> of other styles. So you'll maybe see a little bit of that come out in um, my practice. But that's what makes yoga fun is that for me, the tradition has expanded so much over the years that that's what, uh, you know, makes it enjoyable because of all those varieties that have expanded for the years. And if you're an Ashtanga student, I do apologize. My tradition is not as, uh, you know, traditional. <laughs> All right, guys, let's take a moment. Finding neutral position here. Let's go ahead and extend our right arm forward, finding a nice uh, straight spine. And if you're feeling like you're a little crunched, expand your knees back just a little bit, okay? Inhale, reach your right arm forward. If you're feeling, if you're feeling strong, stretch that left foot back and point the toes. Keeping the core nice and strong here. Breathe. Inhale, exhale. Let's take a couple more breaths. And if you want to challenge yourself here, reach the fingertips away and the toes away. Inhale, reach your hands forward and re release your right hand down. Nice. All right, let's try that same concept on the opposite side. Remember, you can just do your left arm. For an extra challenge, reach the right toes back. The toes can even stay on the ground for modification if you want, or you can lift them up for the added challenge. Keep the breath flowing strong here. We're activating the core and just firing up those obliques a little bit here too. So making sure that, that breath is flowing and maybe bringing your toes and your fingertips away. <laughs> Be mindful of anything you might have in your home. <laughs> Bring awareness to that breath. Don't let yourself miss the breath or skip the motion here. All right, release your hand down. We're going to go and find our first downward dog, Adol Mukhasana. All right, lift your hips, straighten your legs, and drop your heels. Extending as much as you can up your legs. If the knees need to be bent, that's okay. And let's go ahead and walk the dog out. So bend one knee and stretch the opposite down. And switch as you exhale. Exhale, switch. Inhale. And exhale, switch. Release both heels down and push into both all ten toes and lift both heels as far off the mat as you can. Exhale. Heels come back down. Let's take two more of those. Inhale. Lift your heels up. Hold and exhale, release down. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, release down. Now see if you can push into the balls of your feet and see if you can lift 
the toes off the mat. So just the toes. Breathe into the shins. Exhale. Release them down. Nice job. Child's pose. Drop those knees down, coming together, or they can come apart. Your choice. Release your hips back and stretch out your arms, forehead to mat. One more breath here, pushing your forehead into the mat, connecting with yourself here. Inhale, coming back into your downward dog. Hands come to the floor, knees come hip width distance apart. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, exhale, heels down. Walk your hands back to your feet so you come into a nice standing forward fold. Bend those knees if you need. Release the head and shake it out yes and no a couple times. Any tension? Any stress right here in the neck? See if you can truly let it escape. Grab opposite elbows and shake your arms side to side. Whatever it is that you're holding on to that serves you no purpose, see if you can let it melt away. Restore a lot of tension in the upper back, in the cervical spine. Release your hands, and let's come roll ourselves all the way up to standing, stacking one vertebrae at a time, hanging those arms, and letting ourselves find standing slowly. Inhale the shoulders up, back, and down. Pull the arms down to the side body. Beautiful job, guys. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center for a moment, bringing the thumbs to the heart, and then open out your hands and release your hands to your heart. Close your eyes. Take a moment and acknowledge yourself. <sighs> Feeling gratitude for coming to 420 therapy. Feeling yourself a little bit taller, a little bit stronger, a little bit happier. Inhale, open the eyes. Exhale, release the hands down to the side. Like, let's find a nice, easy vinyasa flow here. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, forward fold. Hands can come to the heart or reach forward, your choice. Inhale, halfway lift, extend the spine. Exhale, reach your hands forward and walk yourself into plank. Finding it, inhale, exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Lower push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Let's breathe three times here. One more big, strong breath. Inhale, look up at your hands. Step, walk, or jump yourself to the top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. So let's take that one more time. Ready? Inhale, arms come up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms. Step or jump back. Find your plank. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Two nice big breaths. Feel the rib cage open up in the back. Inhale, looking up at your hands. Step, walk, or jump top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, release. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful. Nice job here. All right. Let's go ahead and take that into sun salutation uh, B. So taking it into Upatasana chair pose. Inhale. Arms are going to come up. We're going to exhale. Sink in those hips. We're going to maybe look down at the toes first to make sure we can see all 10 toes so the knees are not going over the toes. Sink a little bit more. We're going to tuck that tailbone. 
Belly button pulled in towards the spine, arms reaching up. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, exhale, plant the hands, step or jump back, exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath. Now we're going to find Rear Vajrasana A, Warrior One. Ready? Looking back at those beautiful right toes, send them gratitude and love. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, reach that right leg forward. Toes plant, find your foundation. Inhale, arise on up into your Warrior One. Make sure both hips are facing forward. Back heel might not be quite on the floor, so just drag that heel back as much as you can. Sink into that front knee. Reach your hands up. <sighs> Feeling strong. Feeling good. Remembering why you came to your mat today. A personal reason for coming to the mat today. Feeling like I just needed to feel good. Inhale. Exhale. Let's float those hands down, plant them, step back, inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, left toes come up and back. Exhale, left knee comes in towards the center line, plant the foot, drop your right heel down, but still keep your hips facing forward. Inhale. Reach those hands forward, and then reach them up. A couple of more breaths here. Finding your foundation. It's okay if you feel your front leg's a little wobbly. Try to breathe into it. Solidify it. Sometimes, for me, cannabis can help me either bring more awareness and focus, or it can make me a little wobbly, or maybe it can do both. But that's okay. Allowing that moment to be straight. Stability. Inhale. Exhale. Float it down. Exhale. Bring it back. Downward facing dog. Take three solid breaths. One more. Inhale, looking up at your hands, step or jump yourself, top of your mat, exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway, exhale, release, inhale, Uttanasana. bend in the knees, lift the arms up, reach up, tuck the toes, tuck the tailbone, sink a little more, inhale, come to standing, exhale, hands to heart center, nice job guys, let's take that one more time, inhale, Uttanasana chair pose, Sink a little more. Sink a little more. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the palms. Step or jump. Plank. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. All right, taking it to our warrior one on our right side. Inhale, right leg comes up and back. See if you can lift it just a little bit more into your three-legged dog. Take two more breaths. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior one. Plant the foot. Inhale, arise up with the arms. And make sure that both those hips are still facing forward. Back leg is extended as the back heel reaches towards the floor. Sink into that front knee. One more. Inhale, reach. And exhale, lower. Challenge yourself if you want to have a one-footed chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, let's take that left side. Inhale, lift that left leg up. Lift it a little bit more. Hold two breaths. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring it through the center line. Warrior one, opposite side. 
find your foundation, make sure it's good, arise. You've got it. Strong arms, strong legs, strong warriors. All right, guys, one more inhale, exhale, take it down. Nice work. All right. Finding your downward facing dog and then finding a nice child's pose as the knees come down and apart. Release the hips back. Take a moment. Oh. Feeling good. Feeling strong. Return back to your intention. As the mind loves to wander, being that monkey mind that it is, bring it back. Create that mantra or repeat that mantra. I am love. I am love. Nice job, guys. All right, take one more full breath right here on your mat. And then inhale, I want you to look forward looking at your hands, and then slowly lift yourself up. We're gonna go ahead and come back into our downward facing dog as you tuck your toes and lift your hips up. <sighs> We're gonna break ourselves down a little bit more into those hips and into the legs. We're gonna go ahead and work a little bit more now on just balance before we do so. So just challenging our core by working on a two-legged dog, not just three, but two. <laughs> so. Working first on the hands, we're going to look at that right hand. I want you to lift the right palm up, fingertips are pushing into the mat slowly, and finding a nice solid point where you're pushing equally into all five fingers and equally into your other hand, meaning that you're not pushing more into your left hand now that you've done this. So you should almost be able to do the same thing with both hands, right? Equal pressure. Now look at your left hand, foot, <laughs> so opposite hand and foot here. Lift your left heel up, drag your left toes back, and push your left toes into the floor. This is your version of three-legged dog until you would like to challenge yourself more by maybe lifting the toes, lifting fingertips, and maybe lifting a hand off the floor. Maybe extending the fingertips forward, maybe lifting the toes back a little bit more, and trying your best to keep that three, that, uh, excuse me, downward dog stance with just the arm and the leg, extending and reaching back down. Let's try that on the opposite side, huh? <laughs> okay, so looking at that left hand, lift the left palm up and push into all five fingers on the left hand side. Bring your gaze over towards your right toes. Lift your right heel up and bring your right toes back. Find your two-legged dog. Maybe fingertips are coming up first, maybe toes. Whatever feels good for you here. Keep the core active and strong. Keep your gaze back if you can. You are strong. You are capable. Keep breathing. Inhale, exhale. Release your hand. Release your foot and relax. All right, let's go ahead and take ourselves down to the mat with our right foot. So we're going to inhale, lift the right leg up and back one more time, and then exhale, bring that right knee in towards the chest, low crescent lunge. So right foot forward, left knee back. Sink the left knee down. Let's try to be mindful here that our knee does not go over our ankle. So if you're having a little bit of a more hinge here, walk that foot forward. Nice job. Coming up to your fingertips, if that feels good, so you can dive a little deeper. And keeping the toes in the back tucked to help protect that knee. If you want to untuck them to be able to go a little further into your left hip flexor, go ahead and do so. Again, this is where the blanket can also come in handy to put under your knee. Let's take a couple more breaths right here. Feeling good. 
feeling like that sativa was a really good choice for my practice today. I was feeling a little bit gloomy today. I'm not sure if it was the weather or if it was just the fact that I finally got enough sleep and needed to relax today, but I'm feeling pretty happy and positive now. Feeling like just breathing and <sighs> allowing <laughs> is making me feel real good. Let's take one more breath right here. Let's come into a half split. So we're gonna lift our hips up, shift our weight back just enough so we can straighten the front leg, and maybe fingertips are coming onto the floor a little bit more, and maybe you can flex your foot. If this is if this is becoming too strenuous on the knee, just bend the knee a little bit. It doesn't have to be exactly straight. If we can try to straighten the leg, we're coming into kind of a modified pyramid pose, right? So allowing the belly to come towards the thigh. Belly towards thigh, couple of breaths. And then let's go ahead and come back forward. We're gonna go ahead and find lizard pose from here. So coming up to your fingertips, chest off the knee, you're gonna walk that foot over towards the right side of your mat. Hands come to the center. If you have a block at home or a book or something handy, you can always help use this too if this is gonna be a little bit too deep for your thigh. All right, let's kind of shake it out a little bit here first. So just pushing and pulling that knee back into place, allowing the inside of the foot to lift up. If that causes any pain, please don't do that. All right, shake it out a little bit here. And if it feels good, just stay here for a moment and let the knee slowly start to fall out. We've got a little bit more flexibility here, lifting up onto uh, the left arm for support. You can go ahead and bring the right hand gently to the knee and slowly maybe start to push it outward and look over your right shoulder. Being very cautious and mindful of the body. Don't disconnect. We're really trying hard to connect here. So if in any way you're causing yourself pain, please back off. If you're feeling good here, breathe into it and allow it to go a little further. Inhale and exhale. Let's go ahead and gently come back down with the right hand. Take a moment, inhale and exhale. See if maybe we can come down to the floor a little bit more. Maybe that block is handy. Maybe you can bring your elbows or your forearm down to the block to help support you. Our goal here is to try not to get too much of a rounded spine here but rather elongated. So that's where that block or support can really happen here. And then the melting can happen as you come down further. Don't worry if the melting is not happening as quickly as maybe you would expect it to. Every day is different. All right, let's come on back up slowly, gently pushing that block or support off to the side and let's go ahead and find pigeon pose. So we're gonna walk that right knee back to the center and then over towards the left side of your mat, gently allowing the hands to support you as we release the right knee down towards the floor and towards the right thumb. Inhale and exhale. Keep your left leg extended straight behind you, hips facing forward. If your back hip is floating a little bit more than we need, place that block underneath that hip or maybe that blanket. It's also a good opportunity. We're going to hang out here for a little while. So taking time, if you want to maybe light a joint or take another hit on your pipe or foam or a vape pen, whatever maybe you chose today, this is a good opportunity. If maybe you decided to uh, drink something with cannabis today too, maybe this is a nice option to drink a little bit of water and stay hydrated. It's really a good time for any of us to stay hydrated. <laughs> maybe bring the hands to the floor. I'm going to grab onto my joint and maybe take just another little puff here. A lot of the time the body can really fight this pose. Pigeon pose is a really deep pose. We hold so much emotion and tension here. This can be really good to help break that up. Let it go. The art of 
of allowing. Allowing ourselves. Just be. Pigeon pose is already part of your practice and you can dive a little bit deeper. Allowing maybe arms to stretch out a little further. By all means, go for it. You don't have to wait for me. I'm only here to guide you. Shift our weight and come into half butterfly. So you're gonna shift your weight onto your right hip slowly. Keep your left leg extended as you bring your right inner foot to the inside of your left thigh. Keep yourself extended with the arms and exhale, reach over towards the left foot as the right arm extends up. Return back to your intention. Inhale, come on up. We're going to come into a supported half plank here. So right hand comes onto the floor. Lift your left hip and right arm, left arm, excuse me. Up. Push into your left toes, so extending your left side body all the way out. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and release yourself, coming all the way down to both hands. Rotate so that way you're onto your right knee and extend your left leg back behind you. Inhale, exhale, extend your right leg. Hold three breaths. Plank. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lifting your left leg all the way up and back. Let's take that to the opposite side. Bring your left knee in towards the chest. Drop the left foot down in between the hands as the right knee behind you comes down. Low crescent lunge, opposite side. those fingertips to support you or the hands wherever you're at just trying to keep a little bit of space between your chest and your knee that rest in the leg one more breath inhale exhale shift your weight into your half split coming up to your fingertips look forward and exhale melting at your belly and your hips, keeping elongated elongation through your spine. You really feel a nice stretch along your sciatic nerve line here. And with that breath flowing freely and deeply, this is your time. Let it be. Just a few more. Inhale, coming back forward. Let's go ahead and find our lizard pose on this side. So fingertips are going to go ahead, the left fingertips are going to come to the inside of the foot as you walk your left foot slowly over towards the outside. Hands to the floor or to your block if you need as well. Let's go ahead and shake that knee out a little bit here. Being kind, remembering our intention of love and patience. We 
you got it. And if it feels good, then let that knee fall on out. You can bring variation into your lizard pose. If you have a little bit more flexibility, you can bring your left knee and push yourself away as you support yourself with your right. We've got the center. Let's see if we can work ourselves down into a lizard pose a little more here. Breathe. Let it happen with your breath. Don't fight it. Don't just go into it. Melt into it. Inhale and exhale. A bit more. Now, the present is the only real time. There is no time. Come on, watch your hands. And that is the truth. Is your hands changing into pigeon pose? Walking the foot over towards the right side of your mat, slowly dropping your left knee down towards your left hand, hips facing forward, inhale, reach the chest forward, and exhale, walking your hands. I'm letting yourself melt. I'm feeling like this is a little easier on this side for me, so I'm coming down just a little bit faster here. So if you're feeling a little tighter on this side, by all means, take it slow. Whatever it is that you are storing in your body that is serving you no purpose, try your best right here to give back love, kindness, and patience. It all go right here, right now. All right, let's take a couple more breaths right there. Let it sink in. Let yourself marinate. And then use those hands to slowly support you as you come on back up. And then let's shift our weight into half butterfly as we shift onto the left. Keep your right leg extended out. So that way your left foot is in. Inhale. And exhale, reach towards your right leg. And extend your left arm up and over. Inhale, come back up. We're going to go ahead and come into a supported half plank, side plank. So your left hand comes up. You're going to lift your body and roll onto your left knee. Point those right toes. And extend yourself up. And then out and open the heart. Maybe even add a slight inversion if you can. Inhale. Exhale. Come on back down slowly. <sighs> let's go ahead and find full butterfly as we bring both feet together. And let's go ahead and shake it out here just a little bit. Shake out the knees. Inhale, lift the heart and chest out. And then exhale, let yourself melt down. Maybe use the elbows to push them. Knees out to the side if you need. Mm -hmm. 
breathing. And let the hips pull back. You've got this. Just a couple of more deep breaths. Inhale, let's go ahead and come back up. Bring your knees back together. Inhale, bring your hands back behind you and lift your hips up. Inhale and exhale. Drop the hips back down. Extend the legs. Let's go ahead and try that again. Lift the hips up with the knees extended. If that can't quite happen, come back to the knees together. Inhale and exhale. Drop the hips down. Flex the feet. Inhale, lift both hands up and exhale. Extended forward fold here as we are seated, pulling the hips back, reaching the upper body along the legs here. You've got this. Just a couple of deep breaths. Maybe if the forehead's touching the knees, maybe bring the chin forward so that way the chin can rest on the knees. And extending through the spine, low, the lower spine, just a little bit more. All right, go ahead and inhale, come on back up. Hands are gonna come behind us. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring those legs hip width distance apart, feet to mat. Inhale, go ahead and lift your hips up towards the sky. <sighs> inhale, lift your right toes and legs extend out. And you're gonna bring the right ankle to the left knee. Inhale, lift it up a little bit higher. Exhale, drop your hips down. Reverse the rotation that you have your hands. So your fingertips are now facing away. Shoulders come back. Inhale, slide your glutes towards that heel. Walk the hands forward. Lift yourself up a little bit more. Exhale, slide a little bit more. If it feels good here too, you can always rotate that ankle. Make sure you have some good support. Inhale and exhale, slide yourself back. We're gonna go ahead and find our uh, fire log pose. So we're gonna walk the left foot over towards the right part of our mat. We're gonna shift ourselves forward and then we're gonna use our hands to help support the foot over that bottom knee and that top knee over the bottom foot. Fire log pose. So stacking as best as we can. If we've got a little space here, that's okay, don't worry. Inhale. And exhale, see if we can maybe bring hands to heart center and melt down. Yeah, this is feeling really tight for me. I don't know how you guys are feeling right now, but whoo, feeling good. I'm feeling it. Ah, feels so good. Inhale, go ahead and come on back up. Keeping the left leg where it is, lift your right leg and bring your right knee behind you. Stag pose. Mm. Right hand comes to the outside, lift your left hand, come on up. One more. Reverse it, inhale, come on up. Release your left hand down. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, rotate, looking towards the left side of your mat. Reach with your right arm as far as you can to the floor. Walk your hands down to the floor and let yourself slowly start to melt. Maybe that block or blanket's handy again and you can use it. And let yourself come down. Shallow. Inhale, come on back up slowly. Nice job. All right, go ahead and bring both feet back in front of you, hip width distance apart. Inhale, lift your legs, hips so. up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift left toes, straighten that left leg, and then bend the left knee and bring the left ankle on top of the right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower yourself, come on down. 
to reverse the rotation of your hands. Sit up tall. Exhale, slide your glutes down towards that bottom heel. Walk your hands up. Lift the chest. Lift the chin. Rotate the ankle. Let's take just two more breaths right here. This slide maybe a little bit more. Slide yourself back just a little bit. Fire log pose. Walk your hand, walk your ankle, excuse me, <laughs> over to the left and slide your upper body forward. Use your hands to gently guide your foot into the little nook of your knee so that the top knee can rest over the front foot. Find your fire log pose. Hands to heart center, take a moment. Close the eyes. Turn back to yourself. Give love truly to yourself right here. one thing we can control, it's ourselves, how we respond, how we react, how we feel. Nobody else's responsibility but our own. Take time to reset and let yourself just be. And you reaching forward with the upper body and melting down into your fire log pose if that feels acceptable. Let's go ahead and inhale, come on back up. Keep your right leg where it is, lift your left knee gently and rotate it and bring the left knee behind, stag pose. Left hand comes to the outside of the left leg, reach your right arm, come up, float it out and over. Inhale, come on back up. Release the right hand comes down. Inhale, reach the left arm forward. Exhale, rotate the upper body towards the right side. Reach with the right arm as far over as you can. Bring the hand down and then start to melt towards the floor. Keep that breath helping you come down. Don't rush. Rushing can cause damage and can cause pain. So we want to make sure that we're keeping ourselves in a nice, comfortable position and breathing. straighten both legs in front of us one more time and straighten out the legs and then shake them. If there's any tension in those knees, hopefully you didn't cause any. Flex those feet and let's take a second forward fold here. Maybe this time reaching a little bit further, feeling a little bit like we're a little more flexible. If not, that's okay too. Letting ourselves just accept where we are. It's a key. Bend the elbows outward, maybe if it's available, and exhale, melt it down. Inhale, come on back up. Slowly bend that right knee with you, and slowly bring it in towards the chest. Inhale, exhale, bring it in. Let's go ahead and find a nice seated twist here. Inhale. Exhale, start to draw your gaze over towards the right shoulder. Hug on to your right knee with the inside of your left elbow. Maybe release your right hand down behind you. If it feels good too, you can always extend that left arm and really open up into a seated side twist a little bit more. Maybe even reach towards your left shin. Keep bringing 
that gaze behind you. And if you're feeling real funky and you want to try some fun stuff, maybe we can try a little side throw here, huh? Left elbow towards your right knee, right elbow, right hip. Lift yourself up and extend the legs. Keep the chest lifted, find a drishti or gaze point. Extend right leg, bring your left knee into the chest. Mm. Inhale, exhale, bring it a little further. Inhale, and exhale, find your twist as you bring your gaze over your left shoulder, hugging onto your left knee with your right arm. Inhale. I don't feel like my twist is as deep on this side, I've noticed. I can't quite reach my fingertips to my shin as well as I could on the other side. Breathe with it. And then again, if you're feeling funky and you want to try it, let's see if I can do it as good as I could on the other side. <laughs> that was smooth, but hey, give it a try, right? <laughs> Inhale, exhale, release that leg down. Go ahead and reach yourself towards the front of your mat with your feet. Inhale, reach forward and roll yourself back. We're going to come all the way down onto our mats now. Releasing onto our spine, keeping the core strong and activated until the entire body is rested. And let's release. Inhale, reach the arms over the head, full body stretch. Really stretch the toes and arms in opposite directions. Inhale. And exhale, release your arms down to the side body. Let it go. Take this time for yourself here and let it all disappear into the ether. Whatever it is you're holding on to in your mind still. Use the power to let go. Heavy eyes become heavy. As the jaw becomes soft and supple, maybe falls open as you deepen the breath, allowing more air to enter the body. Letting your energy flow freely head to toe. Feeling the chest rise and fall slowly with the breath. Allowing yourself to just be as you spend so much of your life going, doing, existing. Take time for yourself. Restore back. Give back. Love, kindness, patience.
taking a nice couple of breaths here, just notifying your thoughts. Let's go ahead and inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. One last full body stretch here together. Inhale and exhale, bend the knees. Bring the feet back to the mat, feel the spine along the mat. And roll over to one side. Taking time to refer ourselves here. Slowly reawakening. Let's come back to a comfortable seated position. Mm. Let's try to keep the eyes closed for just a couple more breaths here. Keeping that internal focus inward. Press the hands back on your knees. Inhale. And inhale, reach your hands up towards the sky, join your palms together and release them to the heart center. Give me thanks for this time that you've given yourself here today. Give thanks to this practice. And allowing yourself to be one with these few breaths that we're about to have. And taking it from off the mat and into our daily lives. And any moment that you feel stressed or anxious or just maybe not centered, take a moment, take a few deep breaths. Recite a mantra to yourself and let it just be. Accepting ourselves for where we are, accepting the breath and the beautiful benefits of cannabis. I hope that they've helped you maybe reach a little bit deeper inside yourself, be a little bit calmer, a little bit more focused. Let's inhale, rise back up to the crown of the head. The light in me bows to the light in you. Namaste. you enjoy practice here today guys if you are interested in joining more classes i have uh, this type of class every wednesday at 4 p.m online and i also have more classes available on my website at mountainyogi.com that's m-t-n-y-o-g-i.com but for now we're going to continue smoking a little bit more of this joint i'd love to hear some feedback from you guys at any time i'm hoping you guys are feeling good from practice and yeah always i'm curious on what you guys are smoking and maybe also reading for that matter, because I know right now I just got a new book for Christmas, High Yoga. Aha! It is the Enhanced Yoga and Cannabis and CBD Treatments for Relaxation, Healing, and Bliss by Darren Zier. I'm really excited to read different types of books and, you know, just to hear different um, attitudes and mindsets about yoga, because it's just one of those things where there's so much knowledge and so much information out here, you know? And for example, maybe next week, just opening this up, lion's breath, talking about roaring like a lion. That is one of the best releases. Sometimes we just feel like there's so much stress and so much tension built up inside. We just want to scream. We're so frustrated and so annoyed. Maybe with what's going on in the world right now with all of our limitations and regulations, we're just like, oh my God, I want to scream. Lion's Breath is actually a really good example of one way to really release that. So if you're interested on that, tune in next week and we'll talk a little bit deeper about that. But for now, guys, cheers. Happy 420 to you. I hope you enjoyed this class. Namaste.